Now, in order to draw a line, uh, it's something similar to shapes dot add triangle, but shapes dot add line requires only four numbers instead of six, as a line only has two heads. For example, if you look at the practice sheet, this is a line with one head, a head A, and the other head, head B. And we need only X and Y for head A and head B. <coughs> so, the command is shapes dot add line, bracket open. And as you can see on the cheat sheet over here, you need X1, which is the head for, which is the X value for head, head number one. Y1, which is the Y value for head number one. X2, which is the x value for head 2 and y2 which is the y value for head 2 you only need four numbers so coming back to our example over here the x for head number head a is actually 50 over here and y is also 50 so over here i can type 50 comma 50 and then x2 and y2 so for head b x is if you trace the number to the top it's a hundred that's x2 and the y for head b is 300 if you trace the number to the left side this here that's 300 so 100 comma 300 and bracket closed and if you run it, there's a line. Now, in order to change the color of a line, you need to write graphics window dot pen color and then write the name of the color. But that has to be written first before you add the line. So I'm just going to bring this down and graphics window dot pen color brush color will not work with add line pen color will equals to sign speech marks or double quotation marks or inverted commas and then the name of the color blue and speech marks again you can also change the thickness of the line with graphics window dot pen width equals to and you need a number and whenever you're writing a number after an equal to sign you do not need to write the speech marks so i'm just going to write 30 here and run it and there you go